Hey y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome back to my bedroom as I am returning to the high seas and this is Black Sails Season 2, Episode 8. And everybody is, oh, alliances are changing. They are changing. Billy turned on Dufresne, who's now going to hook up with Horny Gold, and that's how I say his name. That's how it comes out with his accent. I think they're going to get themselves killed by the British Navy, but that's just my thought. Eleanor and Vane are done for reals this time. For reals, I think. She has crossed her last line. Maybe. And then, in something I did not see coming, and I, hmm, I guess I should have, but I guess I was expecting it further down the line. John has done a switcheroo, I guess you can say, on Flint, whereas he thinks Flint is not fully invested in getting the gold. So he, he comes up with the concoction that the gold is now gone, but oh no, it's still on the beach with a bunch of Spanish soldiers who are all now dying of dysentery. Whatever it is, they got something, they're dying. Gold is defenseless. So John and Max are cooking up a scheme, I think getting Jack and Anne on board to go scoop up this gold. It's not gonna be so easy, right? It can't be that easy. It cannot be that easy. So I think that's where we left off. So we are going to dive into it, I think possibly I don't know, all the technical stuff is technically, you know how it works with me. But I have my ginger ale and lime, because it's quite delightful. I have all of you who are also going to remember that full episode watch along is available on Patreon, where I would love to see you. And uh, yeah, let's just get to it. The Okugo is on that beach. It is almost entirely undefended. And covered in germs. There are so much germs on that gold right now. You will hear from me again. Oh, yeah. I think Guthrie's going to be... Take it, this is a flashback. Do not relax. Do not relax. <laughs> yeah, I'd have nightmares about that too. Still, my dreams are haunted by the faces of those pirates that first captured me. <laughs> the first set of pirates. Now she's on set three. Just the act of putting my thoughts to paper has helped me feel myself again. To construct for myself an illusion that I'm still on the good fortune. Nearing the end of a long voyage. So where was the good fortune going? And for what purpose? Supposedly it was an easy target. Where were they going? Will it matter? I don't know, but I'm curious. So I know that any appearance of civility from them is but a glimpse of the men they once were. Do we know? I don't see John. that down that smearing anywho yeah i don't know if i see i haven't seen john and i don't think flint would just let him not go would he she was writing about me <laughs> do you think <laughs> when i first learned she was on the island i saw in my mind a five-year-old child hiding behind her mother's dress I realized she's a woman. And we're old. <laughs> Reminded me how many years separate me from a world I still think of as home. That you're all old. I recognize you. You recognize me. Will Peter recognize either one of us? Better hope he does. <laughs> Who's flapping their gums? Who's flapping their gums? How in the f 
am I supposed to prepare to carry five million pieces of eight across an ocean without anybody knowing I'm doing it? I don't know, but perhaps if you asked a little louder, there might be someone on the moon who could help you. Everything that isn't bolted down is being moved onto the sand. Is that something one does? No. It's mm. all I could think of, given that there's no good reason to empty a ship while she's in the bay. Yes, you're making room to fill that space with something else. We haven't even begun to address the issue of where we'll put all that gold, much less defend it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. By the time anyone expects to reload it, you will be close enough to departure to tell them the truth. Yes. I don't think I would tell anybody. I would just go by myself. Get little buckets full at a time. Hide what it is that's there on the island and just go back when you need it. But are you angry with Anne for leaving or are you angry with me for offering her the opportunity? For so many years, I knew her. Perhaps the only one who truly knew her. So now I realize two things are possible. One, something has changed within her, something so significant that she's turned into someone I barely recognize. Or two, you didn't know her at all. It was a fantasy that I ever knew her at all. Mm hmm. And the most disturbing thing about it is because of Anne. Probably both. I will likely never know which it is. Why are you telling her? Telephone, tell a friend, tell Nadell. Is she a lip reader? I'm here to see the lady of the house. Tell her it's news from home. Use those words, please. Are we getting a new player on the field? Good morning, dear. <gasps> oh. Oh, what's she been up to? You haven't even told me what this is all in service of. Who the information's being purchased for. Ooh, that could be so many people I could think of. Because it could be Vane. Vane's on the top of my list. But it could be others. But I have news I think you'll want to hear without delay. I when you I... engaged me to monitor the goings on across the way. Okay, okay. I did not guess Eleanor. I believe I know what it is. And I believe you want to know it too. <laughs> Always for price. Item. Oh, he is on the ship. Okay. <laughs> huh. Okay. So he left gathering the gold with Jack. Thinking that Jack just wasn't going to abscond with it all or most of it by himself. Interesting. I remember the first time I saw those walls. Those patrol ships. Oh, well, yeah. Are they going to be able to get close to Charles down at all? He says, That, son, is a town resolved never to be fucked with. And we watch as they haul up a man named Solomon Little. <laughs> when Captain Flint first arrived on this island, he gained influence faster than any man I'd seen before or since. But it was clear to me the reason why he was so good at bending men towards his will was he knew the power of a story. And that man there, I would argue, may very well be his equal. The pirate story is burning. Couldn't tell it before. Can't trust a fucking thing out of his mouth. Hmm. But the power of the telling, that is clearly his. But God help us if he ever realizes what else he could use it to accomplish. Hmm. If Captain Flint is to come through this alive, we will need to be focused and at our best. When you two returned and the three of us stood on that beach, what did I say to you? Don't be a goober, I think is what it was said. You said if we told Flint the gold was gone, you get another crew to go back and get it. And we could have a bigger share. And he brought these yahoos with the office. I also said that if anyone, anyone even remotely suspected something was off about our story, if they even detected the faintest whiff of it, we would all be dead. Mm-hmm. Said, I understand. No one's asking questions. No one knows shit, so leave me alone about it. Yet. Yet. 
Got a look of, I gotta take him out. That man has the potential to be a very real I gotta take him out. Taking him out. Mm hmm. What is that? Charlotte's heart? Charlotte, say. Oh, <laughs> I was gonna say. <laughs> she and this man leave the island with no warning, no witnesses, and no money. I'm sorry, I'm not following. You should be Eleanor. A member of Flint's crew walks into her inn. He promptly disappears under suspicious circumstances. You're asking me to believe that Max somehow got the information about the Urker out of this man's head, murdered him and then one of her own girls, and then somehow managed to convince Captain Flint and the rest of his crew the Urka Gold had disappeared. How could she do that? Who's missing? I don't know. Who is missing, Eleanor? She and her partners are preparing to retrieve it. Were that to happen, the thieves and their like would flourish here, and your plans for this place would be doomed to failure. Oh, this is an interesting matchup now. I want the NASA you are trying to build. Hmm. You have to stop her. Hmm. <laughs> you can't do it with Charles. Unless you tell Charles. <laughs> tell him I'm in agreement. The sooner we get her home, the better. For all of them. His name is Billy, in case you were wondering. Watch yourselves, eh? Tyson, foremast. Howard, mizzen. Irving, main. My spidey senses are saying Irving is not coming down from the main gracefully, if at all. The darker things. And the moment he reveals that he knows these things, maybe. Oh, who knew he was going up there? And booby trapped it. <laughs> Still working in the kitchen. <laughs> Just what you know. Appreciate the opportunity you gave us. It's all right. I'm not stupid. Where's Randall? Randall's about. Sometimes he's just so fucking stubborn. Well, if you can think of something to say to him to get him to fall in line, now would be a good time. Say to him. Make me pass that now. Past it. What you asked me to do wasn't the point to solve the problem for good. Talking about. Oh, John, you know. Duty on the main mast. Hey. Seemed like the perfect chance to make it look like an accident. Well, John, you got up there just the right time to see him fall. Now, is she really, or is he just incapacitated? What about this? Oh, good God. <laughs> we anchor the ship off the southern coast. A team of men excavate a trench inland. Your answer is where to secure five million pieces of eight is to dig a hole. With a big X on top. Right now, Charles is either fighting to preserve his captaincy and looking for any good argument to win them a fortune and quickly, or he's dead and some new captain is wrestling with the same question. What are you saying? Where does one store a fortune in gold coins? Yes. In a goddamn fort. What, well, you're just gonna walk up there, knock on the door and ask whomever answers. If they'll let us use your half-demolished fort as a treasure. And you'll have to share some of it, or all of it. Yes. Care to join me? <laughs> Please go with him so he doesn't get This killed. gold doesn't stay secretive at all, does it? In a day since Mrs. May. Oh, whole day. But now, I'm concerned you may not appreciate how precarious things will be here should that gold reach our shores. So first Eleanor wants the gold, now she can't allow to get it on the shores. Oh my goodness. Very certain that you aren't suggesting that we do anything. The only way to truly ensure that the Urka gold doesn't return here is to eliminate everyone with the knowledge of where it is and how to retrieve That's it. That's her plan? 
You are suggesting that I have all of these people. Well, that's his plan. With all due respect, ma'am, it's not as if you haven't done it before. <laughs> Too late now, fellas. <laughs> I thought you'd made it clear what I was to do. But could you have thought that? Well, you didn't. You said he could sink us. Yeah. You gave me a look. You gave him a look. Let me see if I have this. Flint gives an order to get your men to follow it. I need to come down here, put on a show, and convince you it's in your interest. But I give you a look, and you're willing to murder a man over it? I listen to Flint because you tell me it's in my interests. I listen to you. Because I know you give a shit about my interests. And I'm the only one who thinks that way. He's implanting a seed in John's mind that's gonna sprout. Ooh, it's gonna sprout. And I believe that in order to do that, I have to tell these people that which I've kept from them. Oh. I have to tell them what I know. Is her father no longer around? At one point, he was even reasonable about the issue of quelling piracy, until I received a letter from him, in which he recounted to me the story of a ship attacked by pirates. It was named the Maria Lane. <laughs> the ship was set upon by Captain Flint and his men. Mm -hmm. There was one particular victim. His name... Was Alfred Hamilton. Mm -hmm. Given the lengths to which this man had gone to protect himself, the fact that he fell under Captain Flint's sword suggested he'd been hunted, pursued, and then executed in cold blood. Mm -hmm. He said the act was completely incompatible with civilized society, that he would dedicate his life to eradicating it, and that there would be law in the Americas day Captain Flint swung over Charlestown. Well, thanks for sharing it now. When you return me to Charlestown, turn around and sail away. Oh, pumpkin. <laughs> well, this is a turn of events. Surprise, not surprised. This only works if we can make it clear that we have absolutely no intention of shooting at anyone today. What if they start shooting at us? Doc. You'll be safe here until I return. <gasps> You've heard what she said. It's too dangerous. If I'm standing next to you, he's far more likely to see you with the man you were. That is kind of true. He's more likely to see you as a woman abetting a known pirate and hang you alongside me. Mm. I'm the one who learned Alfred Hampton was a passenger on that ship. Ooh. I knew the moment I told you what it would drive you to do. Knew the danger it would put you in. Knew the horrors it would incite. For if anyone is responsible for what happened that day, it's me. Captain Fane! What do you mean, Captain Fane? Are they... Is he using an alias? Are you Captain Fane? We received your letter and your demand. Oh. I'm not Charles Vane. I have no demands. But I do have a request. Oh. Were they prepared? To, I think they were prepared to fire upon them. That's a whole bunch of people waiting on shore, isn't it? <gasps> he used the Flint name. Interesting. Why? You are Captain Flint. I am. And you wish an audience with Lord Ash? I do. I think it will be behind some bar cells. This was a different place before the governor arrived. Raiders routinely hit our shipping. It took him a short while to learn how to deal with it. You see, he made these people unafraid. And everyone realized. The moment you stop fearing it, it loses all its power. Ooh, yes, we knew that was going to happen. 
I don't see any reason those instructions don't apply to you too. If anything... Stop! He's an old friend of my father's. I remember him. I know him. And if you strike him again, my father will know you did so after I made this clear to you. That was an interesting perspective shot there. Welcome to Charlestown. For now. Oh, God. <laughs> Through danger, peril, and blood, the greatest threat he faced, the one enemy who may ultimately have been his undoing, was someone I once heard him refer to as Lady Honeypot. <laughs> Beware the women, Mr. Featherstone. They bite. Oh, Jack. I'm in love with a good woman, sir. I'm not concerned. Mm, Jack's a little. Fidel. Ooh, heartbroken. Yes. Who else is in love with Adele? <laughs> I'm wondering why it's so quiet in there. Because they're occupied plotting some sort of awfulness. That is one possibility. The other is that they're no longer in there. What are you talking about? Their ship is still in the bay. It is, but I'm less intrigued by what's in the bay than what's up there. Oh, dead people. Oh, okay. He didn't just use the underground tunnels. I guess Jack doesn't know about them. Did they seriously crucify him? Oh, it's her father. Oh, her father. Right, right, right. I totally forgot about him for half a second. This was found pinned on to him. Oh, that's quite a lengthy missive. So I'm resolved. I will be no slave again. I hereby claim the same for Nassau. Richard Guthrie was engaged in an effort to see you return to the rule of the king. I was warned about you. Warned you would betray me. I'd hope those warnings were wrong, but I know you too well. So I prepared, in case they were right. I made clear the price for the girl, one way or another. I was going to claim it. And once I do, I'll be returning to Nassau to settle the rest of my accounts. It's been a while since I've watched the last episode. And I've watched a lot of things since then. Charles, in return, wanted Flint's ship. The Spanish ship. That was it. That was it? Here, take the girl. I'll take the ship. Okay. Eleanor stole the girl. Handed her to Flint. And so, in response, Charles somehow got <laughs> his whole crew... Talk them out of killing him or, or voting him out, whatever. They followed Flint without anybody noticing. Followed him to Charleston. And they're going to wait in the swamp to take over the ship. So there'll be two ships to take back if they're successful. Is that what's happening? Is that what's happening? Because James Rant, they're trying not to have a Nassau in relation to the crown. I think they just want to free. Na I'm getting lost. I'm getting lost of what actually the goal is with Nassau. <laughs> Fuck the king. But then it's all we got to work with the king. I'm. I need, I need a whiteboard with the stuff written down. <laughs> it's getting. It's muddying. It's muddying the waters. One other thing I find interesting, and I wouldn't say it's a bad thing or a good thing. It's just the pacing. The pacing with this series the whole time is 
it seems nowadays the storytelling pacing is we've got to go here and then the next episode or two you go there and we've got to go here and then we go here and we got to go here or do this and we do that and this show takes its time to get you know, it took a whole season before they even left the island to go after the gold. And I feel this is the same here. And I don't know if it's because I think the reason I get itchy and I just want them to do it is because I know there's going to be badness. Things are going to go awry. People are going to die. And I just want to rip that bandaid and know now. Should I want to just kind of steepen it and flow along and let it pour over me like molasses? Sure, but um, that's painful. <laughs> I want to know now <laughs> because <laughs> it's the weight is terrible. It's terrible. Is that making sense? Hopefully that makes sense. It's like, yes, do your story. Take it, tell you how you want to. But my gosh, you guys are driving me insane. <sighs> so much back, so many loose lips. And that's the other thing. So many, too many people are in on this plan or know about it. It's just makes it fraught with danger. <laughs> so what happens next? There's lots of things teetering on the precipice. We've got John and his one crew now with the gold. I'm sure Randall's heard about it. <laughs> Ash and Flint and Miranda in a very delicate situation. I should say precarious as well. Okay. <laughs> but there we go. Another episode of Black Sails Down. Thank you all so much for being with me. You all make watching it. The best part is watching it together. So please, if you haven't already, hit subscribe because I would greatly appreciate it. And until we see each other again, this is your reminder to say um, happy fall. It's fall now in my real time. Stretch your bodies. Attempt to touch your toes. Do some shoulder rolls. Get the blood flowing and then come back and watch the next video in the queue so thanks again y'all and until next time